You know, when I'm making pasta, y'all, I need a wooden spoon. Okay, it just make me feel fancy. It made me feel like a big fat Italian man just singing. Oh, ha, ha. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Listen, today we are still in our juke joint summer series, honey, okay? And we gotta just do something really good. Now I've made this dish before years ago, but I wanted to do it again. So today we're gonna be making my seafood boil. Pasta, yeah, honey, all the things you love in a seafood bowl, we're just gonna put it in the pasta. Except for that corn. Cause I feel like corn is not even a nutritious vegetable. We got shrimp, we've got some sausage, and we've got some lump crab meat. And we're putting it all in the pasta today with a beautiful creamy sauce, y'all. And it don't even take that long to make. Baby, this pasta is quicker than some of y'all's sex life. I promise you. So let's get to the recipe, y'all. Now y'all know, out there in the soft up community, amen, I love flavor in my pasta. If you made my mac and cheese recipe or any other pasta recipe on this channel, you know that we don't boil our pasta in no water, baby, because that ain't gonna be soft. Ooh. So I got some chicken stock already on. So I've got this uh, Zatarain's crawfish shrimp and crab in a bag. I'm gonna give that to you, cameraman, right there so you can see. We're just gonna drop that into the chicken stock. You can use whatever pasta you want, bow tie, a bucatini. <laughs> okay, you can use linguini, honey, or you can use what I'm using, linguini. <laughs> you wanna just drop this down in here. Look at there, we fancy. We just wanna tuck it down in there, like baby Jesus in the manger. I'ma let the pasta cook. I'm about to use a big word, <laughs> al dente. Oh, you got you killing them today. We're gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes or so because we're gonna also finish it up in the sauce and you don't want it to be gummy, honey, okay? Then it turns into like nursing home food. We ain't got time. Now we're gonna start on the meat. I got some sausage here, some Cajun sausage, and do we, or you can use any type of smoked sausage that you wanna use, okay? I'm gonna slice it, diamond cut, okay? Just take your time. And I got a little bit of oil in here. You can use grapeseed oil or olive oil, but not, like a capful because the sausage already has a little bit of fattiness in there, so you don't want it to be too rich. All right, and just throw your stuff in there. Make sure your pan is nice and hot, but not too hot. Let me turn her down. Girl, stop playing with me. And then we're just gonna let this cook for a few minutes on both sides and give it a nice stir. Okay, so we just wanna saute these. Get some nice crispy bits on there. Ain't that what they say? Crispy bits. I'm gonna do a nice flip. That's looking beautiful. Look at all that gorgeous color on that sausage. So I'm gonna put it in the bowl. That looks beautiful. This sausage is, oops. Girl, get in that bowl. I drained the pasta, y'all, listen, and I left a little bit of pasta water in the bowl just in case we need it for the sauce, okay? And it has that chicken stock and that seafood flavor that we want in there, okay? So that way you don't have to use water, you can use your stock, and it's gonna be delicioso. Oh, <laughs> check that Spanish out. Y'all don't want it. I've got some shrimp peeled and deveined. Ain't no boo-boo up in there. I don't know if it's just me or y'all out there. Don't you hate when they serve you pasta and your shrimp and it had a tail on there? I don't want to do cosmetic surgery on my food when I'm eating it, okay? So make sure you take your tail off when you're about to make it for your guests. I'm gonna hit it with my seasoning that's coming out. The Cajun juke joint seasoning. Ugh, thank you. We're gonna just season it, okay? Good, season it real good. Stir that around. Yes, I just use the butter knife because that's what I want to do. Use something, use your hand, use whatever. So our pan is nice and hot. We want to lay our shrimp down. You know, I want my shrimp to be going through a divorce or a separation, okay? Don't overcrowd it. You wanna lay them in there. They're social distancing, okay? <laughs> when you cooking shrimp, honey, it's gonna do like some men do or women do in relationships when they ain't been treated right. They pull away, okay? You ain't got to force and tug on it, all right? If it wanna be in that relationship, it's gonna be in that relationship, amen? But look, your pet, your shrimp, it's gonna easily flip over. You ain't got to tug at it. This ain't like taking out a good a weave, honey. You ain't got to pull it. It has that beautiful color because we patted it dry, okay, at that good Cajun seasoning from the Sops Up AME Church. And they literally take 
maybe two or three minutes to cook. This one right here, it ain't been baptized yet. <laughs> no, no, it gotta be dipped again. Look at there, they look so good, okay? Take them out. And you don't have to sear them like I'm doing. You could just totally add them to the pan and just cook them in the sauce. But I just feel like this is just better. It gives it more flavor, honey, it's just good. So we're gonna make the sauce, cause I'm saucy. I'm a girl they love the right. Listen, I got salted butter. You know what I use out there. Salty. And we're gonna use like a tablespoon, okay? Like that. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic, minced garlic. If you wanna use garlic powder, you can add that to that right now. I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you want to, but baby, it's hot. Ain't nobody got time to be doing all that. Hitting the garlic and doing all that. I ain't got time. Use this. That's why they make it. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white wine. I'm using the McBride Sister today. I love the McBride Sisters. Great, great, great brand. They have delicious wine and it's black owned, honey. Two amazing, beautiful black women own this brand. They run this brand. I'm proud of them and I'm happy to use their product today. Hey, Andre and them girl, okay? We're gonna add some white wine. Let the spirit lead you. Ooh, that's gonna be great. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken base, okay? Y'all know I love my chicken base in here. Just a little bit more concentrated. Sprick, that's what I did. I put it in the cap, I sure did. Make a half a cap full. And I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh lemon juice from my California tree. Ha <laughs> Y'all don't want it. Ooh, look at that. Fresh lemon juice, if you turn it this way, you can catch the seeds. Look at there. Make sure you have clean hands. Make sure you ain't been in the car, working on the car and stuff in your shade tree garage. And then we're gonna just stir this around. It smells beautiful. At this point, guess what this is? This is like scampi. So you can add some fresh parsley in there and some shrimp, and then you got a quick scampi sauce. Two recipes in one. Who the man? I mean the woman. Me. Okay, I didn't give y'all two recipes in one. Now we're gonna add in some heavy cream. Not a lot, but enough. I don't even know what a lot is. Like, two cups. Yep. Ooh. Baby. Cajun seasoning. Add that. Okay. To there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Old Bay. Don't be scared. These are all ingredients we have in our pantry or they're easy to find in the stove. Don't be alarmed, okay? Simple. Add a little bit and we're gonna just swirl this around like this. Uh-huh. I wanna bring this sauce to a boil for about two minutes and then we're gonna add all the other stuff. It's gonna be good. This is good, look. When it coats the back of a spoon, you know it is ready to go. It's like food foreplay. <laughs> okay, girl, stop. <laughs> so I got my cooked pasta here. We're just gonna take the pasta, y'all, and we're just going to put that pasta, it's nice and hot, move it over here, nestle it in that sauce. Saucy, saucy, saucy. So we wanna just nestle this down in there, like this, like that. Look at there. Doesn't that look beautiful already? Now I'm gonna add in our cooked sausage, okay? Then we're gonna add that beautiful shrimp. We're just gonna lay that on top. Look at there, look at that. Look, put that shrimp juice up in there. Y'all know that Nelly song called Pimp Juice? But I got shrimp juice today. Period, stop playing with me. And I've got some lump crab meat here. I bought it from the store, but you make sure it's lump, but I just wanna kinda put this in there. I don't wanna break it up, cause this is expensive. And we wanna just give this a nice toss. Y'all, this is, I'm out doing myself on this one. I wanna chop some fresh parsley here. I'm gonna act like I'm on a real cooking show. You ready? And you just wanna fold it and chop it. It's so fresh. Just sprinkle it on top. Look at that gorgeous. Listen to me, guys. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I have. Quiet on this set! I have the most amazing Parmesan cheese. You wanna just grate your Parmesan on there. <laughs> Okay, put that on there like that. Look, this is gorgeous. It's, in the words of Dylan, it's lovely. This is fantastic, for real, real talk, this is great. 
put that Parmesan cheese on there. The parsley just really gives it a good green, beautiful color. Make people think you didn't did something. You ain't did nothing. And it literally takes less than 20 minutes to make this. I'm gonna plate it up. Now listen, you can serve this right out of the pan, but I have guests coming over. That's what they say on the cooking shows. They be like, I got guests coming over. So I'm gonna plate it up. No, I'm just doing this for y'all. And then I got this beautiful pasta plate. And we're just gonna pour it on. And look at there. Look at that. Oh. Ooh. 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's too and too many low ways. Then we're gonna add just a little bit more of that food grass on top. Put it with some more Parmesan. I wanna garnish it with just a little bit more Ove, just to give it some color. Boom, look at there. That is gorgeous. We're gonna act like we're on a real cooking show here. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the elements in which I'm tasting. I'm gonna get a little bit of that sausage, okay? We're gonna get some shrimp in there and I'm gonna get some of that beautiful crab. Mmm, <laughs> the spiciness of that sausage, the creaminess, that white wine, that butter and the Cajun seasoning. Oh, and those glorious shrimp just pop in my mouth. So delicious. And that lump crab, fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. All of the recipe ingredients will be in the description box along with a written recipe. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. We're almost at a million followers on here. We just wanna thank you. Until next time, guys, ciao. But that flip was nice. I did do a good flip now.